All right, so let's just begin. Thank you for joining. Um, my name is Amit. I am creative director for Promo. Today, we're gonna be doing a little overview of Promo AI, how it works. A little bit, I'm gonna be giving a little bit of insights to my workflow, few examples and tips. I have allowed you guys to speak. So if there are any questions during this presentation, feel free to unmute yourself and just speak up or ask any questions that you have. Um, and all right, let's dive in. So we all know the content is king and video rules that content. It's a really good format for engaging with your audience. But creating content can be a hassle, especially for non-professionals. It takes time, it costs money to produce, and what Promo AI attempts to offer users is an easy way to ideate and create engaging videos or engaging content videos at a fraction of that cost. Promo AI helps with ideation, with the production of the videos, with scheduling, and with publishing all in one tool. And today uh, we're gonna cover those things. Specifically, we'll talk about the basics, how to create videos using Pro AI, how to publish and download, how to edit using two tools. One is this really cool feature we have called the chat editor, and I'll show it today and what you can do with it. And another one for manual tweaks is the classic editor. Um, other than that, after I'll show you a little bit of this, of that, I'll give you a, a few insights to best practices and branding, just kind of like the tip, a bit about footage selection, text styling, outro and logo design, and adapting for ratios. And we'll leave time at the end for questions as well. So I'm going to jump in to promo. So when you log on to promo.com, the home page or the create page, as we call it, is this templates page. These are ready-made templates that as a promo AI user, you can use. You can edit them and personalize them to your brand, but they're ready-made. Accessing promo AI is through this create new button, which you'll find all through the website. And the other way is to start through your Promo AI Planner slash scheduler page. So this is my page. I already have a few videos I've created this morning with them. But to create new videos, basically you create the Generate New or the Create New button as I've showed from anywhere on the website. Now, there's two ways to create videos one is using your website. For today, I've chosen this real estate agency from Beverly Hills that is featured on Real Housewives of Beverly Hills. And all you have to do to create videos is basically copy paste the domain and paste it here. And then you click generate. The app automatically takes data from that website, <clears throat> sorry, including the agency's name, the description, and logo, watermark, and brand colors. Now, you can edit this if you want to change it or tweak it, and I'll show in a little second what the best way to do that is. Well, basically, we have a formula that we've kind of like, we, we've kind of like created. The best way is to put your business name, location, the category or niche that your, um, your business is, is is works in and the target audience. So for this real estate agency, a better description, because this description is taken from the website, but a better description for Promo AI would be a real estate agency is in California. That's the business name and the location that specializes in luxury real estate for, and I just made this up, millennials with a focus on newlyweds and pet friendly homes. So this could be a better description for the AI to create videos from. Another way, and I'll get back to this in a second, another way to create videos with Promo AI is actually using a topic. 
So let's say I don't want to create videos just for my website. I want to create videos for my real estate agency, but about a specific topic that has to do with real estate. Now, I can ask it to create um, videos about luxury living in Beverly Hills. Or another cool thing that you can always do is kind of use one of those free AI tools like ChatGPT. I use Gemini. I like it a little bit better. But I can ask it for topics when I'm using Chrome. So for example, I've written here, create three topics for content videos for a global luxury real estate agency. And then it will come up with three topics. For example, a day in the life of luxury living, unveiling architectural gems, or investing in luxury. So for example, let's say I like this topic. I can add it here. I go to continue. So investing in luxury is the topic. I go back to Gemini and I ask it to cater to the savvy investor, feature interviews with agency experts, et cetera, et cetera. I can kind of like copy this into the description of what I want from my video. The only thing to remember if you do a topic video is you have to manually insert your agency's name and the logos. So you have to add them manually because when you add a topic, it doesn't do that for you. But I've already made these videos beforehand, so I'm going to skip back to showing you how it creates video using the website. So as I said, I copy paste the website into here. I am going to change the description to my formula. By the way, this session is being recorded and I will upload it to our YouTube channel a bit later on. So you can look at it afterwards at your own discretion. I like the logos. I can replace or delete them. The watermark is a logo that uh, shows through the video and the logo is the one that shows in the last frame of the video and I can change the colors. Now, before I click generate, I want to tell the system how many videos I want. Now, the default, it changes for some users. You can create up to 30 videos. I actually like creating a little less because it gives me time to kind of like go over them. And then I can create like five or seven, and then I do five or seven more if I want. So you kind of choose it kind of like you choose your dates for flights or hotels. You choose it. First date is, it usually starts on the day. Now I deselect this. I want to start videos, let's say in June. So I choose my dates. This is the daily, but I can choose them custom. So for example, I can choose to make videos on Tuesdays and Thursdays only. So I can choose it manually if I want, but I'll go back to the daily. I want to start today and I want to make weekday videos. So from today to Friday, I apply this. I revisit my stats and I click generate. Now, what this usually takes up to two minutes, depending on the time of day. So right now would be kind of like a busy time because it's Monday, workday, a lot of people are generating videos. It usually doesn't go over two minutes. While this is going on, um, I'm just going to tell you a little bit about what the system is doing behind the scenes. So basically it scraped our website. It knows who we are. It knows the description. We're a real estate agency. Now it's reading my website and kind of like taking a lot of information from it. It aggregates all that information and kind of like creates a marketing strategy for those weekdays, or if it's 30 days for the month. It then writes scripts using ChatGPT um, for these videos. And these videos can include content videos, sales videos, if there's a holiday on one of those days, then it will create a greeting, for example, for a Christmas greeting from your agency. It can create listicles. It kind of randomizes between those. And sometimes even inspirational videos or calendar holidays. After it writes the scripts and kind of like creates a strategy for them, it selects the most relevant footage for each of the parts of the video. It, create uh, select clips from Getty images and from iStop and then edits them all together. So this took a little less. So you see, if, if you remember before, I only had this kind of like bottom row and these three on the right, 
these are the new clips at Creative Fun. Let's just see one of them. So this is the listicle video. I don't know if you can hear this music, but I'll turn it down. So it wrote a listicle video for the 22nd. Another video it created just now. Let's just have a look at it. So this is a shorter kind of like more marketing video and it kind of like randomizes between them. Uh, another thing you see, so for this day, for example, on the 24th, I had a video before and it created another video. So if there's more than one video in one day, it kind of like stacks them up one on top of the other. And the one on top is the latest video you've created. Um, as default, I'm just going to show this again. As default, we make videos in square version because it fits both desktop and mobile quite nicely. But you can change the ratio of the video just by pressing on another ratio. You may choose vertical for Instagram stories or a wide video if you want to showcase it. And then it kind of like fits everything neatly into the new ratio. Um, for downloading videos, it's very easy. Once you press on one, you just press the download button from here. You have a few other features here in this kebab menu, download, regenerate, etc. What it also does is, I don't know if you can see this here, but it gives you the post copy ready. So if you want to post this on your social media, Facebook, Instagram, etc., you already have the copy that is ready made for that video to post on. And that's a great thing. You can also edit this. To schedule a video, you press the schedule over here or underneath the video, and you're taken to another scheduling stream. Um, you have to connect your uh, social media accounts. I've connected one Instagram and two uh, Facebook ones, so I'm just going to choose one of the ones that I've already connected. And you can see here the post copy is already written here, but as I said, you can kind of edit it if you want. You can choose to post it as a post or as a reel on Instagram and Facebook. And you can still change the ratios over here if you want. To schedule the posts, you just it's scheduled for the 23rd at 12 p.m. But obviously, you can change the date and time for any of these. And then you press schedule and publish. Just check that you want to that this is the right time for you. Now, I want to schedule this post on two of my accounts. So I go back here. And I want to duplicate this post, one from my Facebook account and one from my Instagram account. And you see what it did here? This is my Facebook page account, and this is my Instagram account. So I, I now, if I go to publish, basically I have two accounts ready to schedule with the same post, which is good if you have multiple social accounts um, selected. And you can kind of change the text for the copy in one of them. Say hello here if you wish to do that. If you press the draft button, it schedules it, but you're not committed to it publishing. So if I press the draft button here and here, I'm gonna just press on one of them. So it says downloading, but basically the videos while in the AI form, they're still editable in the AI. So it's downloading because it's rendering the video and making it publish ready. Um, and then when I go back, I'm going to go back to my planner. This was on the 24th. So I see this post. You can see on the tag here, this is still, it's posted as a draft. It's saved as a draft, which means it won't be automatically published. I need to go back and do it. But this post here, it already says the time and the day. This means this post will be published on the 24th at 12 in the afternoon at noon, actually. I actually don't want this to post, so I'm just gonna delete it so it doesn't post by accident. Um, now, that was downloading and scheduling. 
I hope everything's clear up to now, but feel free to ask me anything if not. Um, <clears throat> before we started the session, I told you these I made with a website, but these three videos I kind of made using the topic. So I actually entered the topic that I had here. I asked it before. Uh, investing in the future, global market insights for actually for real, luxury real estate. So these are the videos I got from it. Let's just look at one of them. And usually topic videos, they're a little bit longer. This is like 40 seconds. Some of the marketing videos, they're optimized to be like 20, 25 to 30 seconds long because that's the attention span people have, but the content videos or topic videos are usually a little bit longer. They allow for a little bit more information. Now, a really cool editor, I'm going to skip to the editing part, is the chat to edit feature. You can access it from here under the video or from here. And this opens a direct link to chat GPT where you can ask the bot to help you edit the video. Now, there's a few things you can do here you can change the content, all right? So for example, this is a title, Three Hot Luxury Real Estate Markets to Watch, and I can ask it to change the first text to hello there. So basically I'm just talking. I sent it, he's thinking about it for a second. And basically I'm just talking to it and asking like an online. So it changed it to hello there. Okay, I can change the text. I can tweak them through here. Um, I can adjust the length of the text. So I want it to make all texts shorter or longer. So it will go back to ChatGPT. It will kind of like re-edit the script it wrote at the beginning and put it back here as a new text because I want less words in each frame. So instead of hello there, this is hello. I can't remember what the second text was, but it's already much shorter. And I can play with this. I can ask it to make ask it to make it shorter, longer. I can ask it um, to write it as step-by-step -step instructions ask it to change the format to bullet points and all kinds of cool things like that. It's a real time saver, it's really cool. You can ask it to boost content. So I can ask it to add statistics, for example. Doesn't work on this video. To the text. So for a more informative kind of version of this content, so it actually goes back to the website or to related articles, and it figures out a few relevant statistics to add to this. And you can play with that. I think even we haven't discovered all the options you can do with this, just because it's directly linked to ChatGPT. So but it can really, you can play with this and add a lot of things. Um, you can ask it to focus on your audience, for example, to highlight user pain points on a certain topic or benefits, depending on your goals. So just type in things like add product benefits or add uh, pain points or highlight them, et cetera. Uh, you can set the tone. For example, I'm gonna write, rewrite the, text as Yoda, but you can ask it to be more formal or funnier. Robots aren't always that funny, but you, you can play with it. So for example, you can change the tone. Let's see how Yoda would use this video. Hello, you must. So 
this is kind of funny, I think, uh, when you ask it to rewrite it in different tones of voices, and you can come up with a lot of things. It's using chat GPT three and a half turbo was a question from Beverly. Um, just because that was that's still the only API open for like industries. Um, but Chan GP three and a half turbo and four are more or less the same. But we might change it now that four O is out. Um, we might upgrade it to that. But for the time being, it's three and a half turbo. Um, what else? You can ask it uh, to change the language. So, for example, if you made a video, but you have clients that are Spanish speaking, or you want to use your video and target a specific video, I don't know, in France, you can ask it to change the language. It supports all the languages that ChatGPT supports. I think it's about 26 or 36 languages. Change the language to Spanish. And it will rewrite the video in Spanish. Now, I, I kind of maybe messed this up because it's still in the Yoda voice, so it uses the last thing. But that's also a pretty cool feature. I know a lot of our clients use Spanish for targeted videos and social media. It would be without wise to verify data statistics and details. As you know, ChatGPT can as you see, the video is in Spanish now. I'm sorry, Beverly asked, would it, wouldn't it be wise to verify data and statistics before publishing? And the answer simply is yes, because as we know, ChatGPT has a tendency to make up stories sometimes. I think that the further the version, the better it is, but it's a great starting point, I would say. That's why I think in general, I would say this whole AI thing, my tendency is it's a great ideator and it's a great starting point and it does like 60 70 percent of the videos that you want to start with but i still usually sometimes the videos turn out 100 percent, but i still use my time to kind of like uh enhance the last 30 to 20 percent of the video manually either using this chat editor or the classic editor which i will show in a minute um, so just to cover the chat editor, you can also ask it to end with a bang, tell the AI editor to add a clear call to action. So for example, uh, direct users to my website in the outro. Outro is what we call the last frame, this frame. So it will add visit us at, and then your website name, et cetera. Another cool thing you can do is all these prompts, all these things I've just told you you can do, you can batch them together. So you can ask it to change the content, change the first frame, rewrite as Yoda, and add a call to action at the end in one prompt here in the edit, in the type to edit. Um, I just showed them you I showed them to you one by one, but you can ask it to do it all together. I'm just going to close this and move on. Um, okay, so this is about the AI editor. Now, another thing, okay, sorry, I'm just gonna show you one more thing. In the AI editor, you can also ask it to play with the visuals. You can, for example, I don't love this second frame, okay? So I want to change clip number two. And what it does now, this is more of a manual thing. It doesn't change it automatically. It kind of gives you all the options you have out of Getty. Every clip in Getty is in, in the back end of our product. So it gives you all the options using the search words that Promo AI started searching for. So because it was astronaut space exploration, you can choose any of these clips to change the second clips, or you can type in whatever you want and ask for it to look for a different clip. So I know this isn't good for the video itself because this video is about space exploration, but you can basically change your clips through here, see? Uh, you can ask it to change the music by giving it a genre, like change it to fun music or serious music, et cetera. 
or change the text position. Change, put the text at the top of the frame, left, center, etc. Using kind of like the nine positions you have in the frame: top left, top center, top right, etc. So I'm going to discard. Sorry, don't save. Um, so as I said before, this is a great starting point for your videos. Sometimes it will create like perfect videos for you, but basically it saves you 80% of your work because you have all these ideas ready. You have all these fun and exciting topics that you can start working on, but something may be a little off. As I showed you now, you can use a chat editor, which is a great feature um, to edit, but you can also use um, the classic editor which is Promos Classic Editor. So once you press this edit video, it takes you to Promos Classic Editor where you can manually change anything you want. Okay, so this is our classic editor. It looks like a normal editor. It's very simple. At the bottom timeline here, you have the clips that we use for the video. Above each of the clips, you have the text animation. Um, choosing any one of these and you choose any one of these and you can edit them. Okay. So I'm going to choose, for example, the first text animation pressing twice. I can change the text. Pressing on the bottom one on the clip, I can replace the video, just like I showed you before. So the keyword here, you have to change to whatever you want. And then you can replace the videos. Um, I'm going to close this. Go back here. Oops, sorry. You can replace the videos. You can change the text style. Um, you can change the animation. We have different animations. Sometimes they change. For now, we have like a 4th of July text animation that you can do or kind of like a summer one, but there's a lot of different animations that you can choose to change from. You can change the colors. So if this is red and white, etc., you can change the fonts. By the way, Promo AI takes the fonts from your website. So if you have a specific brand font and colors that you use, the videos are already supposed to be using those fonts, but you can still change whatever you want over here. Um, one thing I like to do is when I look at these visuals, uh, one thing I would do is kind of like choose visuals that the text won't disturb them. So for example, this face, which is super, super close up, I don't think it works really great with the text. So I might want to change the position of the text or maybe change the frame so it it's kind of like a focus frame. I wouldn't put something very busy in the background, but I would let it have a little more space. Here's another one. So this works a little bit better because you can still see the eyes. You can actually select this and move it if you want. Um, and another thing that I would recommend doing is sometimes, you can see I've already done this and this. Sometimes if a text style has a background like this one, then it doesn't matter what the uh, visual in the background is. But if it's a regular text style with no background, what I like to do is I, I select the background and I add an opacity layer to it. So kind of like a color layer. This is pretty dark anyway. I'm going to try and show you on this one. So if this is really bright and I add a regular text to it, for example, here, it doesn't really show that well. So I would definitely choose to show it in a place where the text is legible. I think as creative as a video is, if your message doesn't come across, that's a shame. I mean, it's not really worth anything. So always make sure your text is legible. Another thing you can do, as I started explaining, is kind of like choose a background and add a color filter to it. So it makes the background a little darker and it helps accentuate the text. So now I can see it a lot more. Before I couldn't see it without the filter, and now I can. So that's thing. one thing I like to do is kind of like darken the footage behind the texts when I use it. Uh, 
Uh, I'm going to answer Beverly's question in a second. I just want to finish up here with the um, with 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 the classic editor. Um, a few more things I like to do is not have too many words. Um, the rule of thumb, and if you do have a lot of words, then make sure you have enough video behind it. So for example, the rule of thumb is one second of video per two words. But really what you should do, so if this has like one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine words, this would needs to be at least a four second video in the background. Uh, but the best thing to do is kind of like just play it to yourself and, and see if you can read it. So this was all right, but usually make sure you have enough time for people to be able. Reading your copy is as important as seeing good visuals. Um, another thing you can do is, I've mentioned this before, is add a watermark throughout the video so you can upload your watermark, so it showcases. So even if people didn't see your video all the way to the end, they still know, or you may help them with brand recognition. And uh, add a clear call to action at the end. So I don't know if it did it here when I did a space video. Let's see what it wrote. So keep exploring with us. I would add a website here, the last frame, or you visit our website or actually ask people to do something. All right. Um, it usually it's visit our website or visit our Facebook page or contact us or come to our store, et cetera, et cetera. But I would definitely add this in the outro. And I would recommend having a relatively long outro frame. If it's too short, what happens a lot of the times on social media is you kind of see your logo and website for two seconds and then it goes black. But if you leave it for like 10 seconds, I mean, it doesn't change anything creatively. All it does is gives people a few more seconds to kind of like ingest your brand. Um, yeah, those are the main things. Um, Beverly here asks, our company has three major divisions all showcased on one website. Can I ask for three separate brand videos from the same website using different descriptions? You can. You can actually have more than one brand um, managed under promo, depending on what plan you kind of have. I think the, the the standard one allows for one brand and the uh, professional one allows for five brands, I think. And then, yes, you can ask it when you're doing, if you just do your website with a domain, it will kind of like randomize the subjects. But if you ask for a topic, you can manually add your website, your company name, et cetera, but ask it to do on a certain topic or on a certain brand or um, actually for, do the same website, but manage under different brands. Um, I hope that answers your question. So this is a general overview. I'll just repeat a little bit of what we've talked about as I see we've already run into 35 minutes. Um, We've discussed how to create videos, how to publish and download, and how to use the chat editor, which is a really cool feature, I think, how to use a classic editor, and a little bit of tips about footage and selection. Once you save and preview here, by the way, um, it will render the video and take you back to the promo planner page. The only caveat is videos that have been rendered using the classic editor, you can't use the chat editor afterwards. You have to kind of like keep uh, editing them using the classic editor because once they've been rendered, basically the AI can't read what's in the video anymore. It knows it as long as the video isn't rendered and it's in code. But now that I've actually rendered the video and it's ready for downloading or publishing or whatever, then you can't use the chat ed AI editor to, uh, um, to edit it anymore. You can obviously still edit it using the classic editor, but uh, not using the AI editor. Okay, so um, this is, uh, thank you, Beverly. I'm very happy. Um, thank you everybody for joining today. Um, are there any more questions? I mean,
you can type them in or unmute and just chat with me if you want. Um, I am going to say, remind everyone that um, we do have a YouTube channel. It's promo.com on YouTube. I have like very, very short educational videos that kind of cover what we've been talking about here. Very, very basically. I have previous webinars up there as well, and I'm going to upload this one. You'll have it up there in the next day or two if you want to kind of like re-review or anything. Okay, if there are no more questions, I uh, was very happy to be able to showcase you this uh, new product, and I hope you had fun. All right. Bye, everyone.